Today I'm going to show you how to teach rate, turn, and position on a cow. Hello, welcome to Tim Anderson Horse Training. Today I'm riding Mac and I'm working on his turn and position on the cow. Mac is three years old and we're working towards showing and working cow horse and he's had a good bit of work on cows. He's seen cows before, probably a few dozen times. And I'm working on getting him to turn a little better. He's turning a little bit too far forward. Um, wanting to move forward, not suck back on his back end and turn on his back end like I would not like. Here I was doing a little bit of warm up exercises with him, getting him to suck back on his back end and then turn a little bit better off of his back end. So what I do is I put a couple of cows here in my small pen. This pen I believe is about 60 by 80 um, roughly. And I put a couple cows in there and I pick out this one. This is one that I know is a, a fairly slow cow. So what I want to teach him to do is mirror the movement of the cow and then stop back a step and then turn with the cow. By picking a, a fairly slow cow it gives me a chance to work him slow. I'm going to pause it right there. There's a lot that happened in that little clip. We're going to go back and talk about it. Watch my hands. We're moving with the cow. He stops pretty good with the cow. I pick my hands up to help him rock back on his back end and my hands go back slack again. We get back in position where we want to be and then I ask him to stop again. Now I want to make this cow move so I'll pick my hands up. We'll back up a step. Rock on his back end, pivot to the cow, step to the cow's hip, and then my hands went slack again. When we push the cow, it goes pretty quick, so we go parallel with the cow. Cow changes directions, we still go parallel, and we go all the way to the fence with the cow. I want to hold it there just a second. I want to say, anytime you step to a cow, you don't ever want to step to the cow's middle. You always want to step to his hip to push him forward, or in front of his head to turn him, the, turn him away. So I want to turn this cow away, so I'm going to step towards its head. That way I'm controlling the direction the cow goes in. You don't ever want to step to a cow not controlling the direction. So I step to the cow's nose, turn the cow away. The cow's going to move away and we're going to go with him. We'll match his speed. The pin's got a curve to it. We're going to go in a straight line. We're going to stop rock back and turn. I'm going to I'm gonna go over that turn again. I didn't care much for that. Let's talk about that. So here we're tracking nice with the cow. The cow stops. The horse stops. Horse gets nice on his back end but that right shoulder kind of po pokes out forward to the cow. That right shoulder needs to be following through going to the left. That's why that back foot kind of got out of position when we left. That all needs to be fixed. So I probably should have fixed it right then but instead I let my horse take a little bit of a breather, catch his breath, and we go in and pull another cow out and you'll see that same problem will show up with this cow and I'll stop and fix it then. This cow has got a lot of run in it. It's not really the kind of cow I'd like to work with this horse. A little bit faster than what I'd like to work, but that's the cow that I pulled out so we're going to see what we can do with him. Here I'm just kind of tracking with him side by side going parallel. My horse has a little bit harder time reading this cow. This horse gives a lot of bob and weave moves and uh, he's, he's a little bit older cow, a little bit more horse savvy. That wasn't too bad a move right there. Horse went with the cow. Horse didn't fall for the fake and came back the other way. I like that. That was pretty good. And the cow's right there off screen. He'll come across into the screen in just a minute. That was another one of them Bob and weave fakes as cow does. Really this this is a pretty difficult cow and the horse isn't doing too bad a job being a inexperienced horse. I am helping him a good bit with my hands. Right there. You see that shoulder go forward? I'll slow that down and show you again. So watch this right shoulder in the turn. He's gonna get his butt down, stop good on his back end. But see that right shoulder wanting to push forward? That's what we've got to fix. That's what he did me on the last cow. So we're going to work on that. 
So what I'm going to do to work on it is I'm going to ask him to stop, back up a little bit more. See, he's really gotten pushy on his face. He needs to relax in his face, relax in his shoulders, back and step through the turn. I'm going to fuss at him just a little bit, but I'm not going to fuss at him too much. He's doing this because he really don't want to lose the cow. He's really trying to hustle up to catch the cow, but he's just not doing it quite correct. So I don't want to fuss too much, but he's still got to get it right. So I'm going to go in here. This cow off to my left is by himself, so I'm going to pull that cow out and work him. This is actually one of my favorite cows to work. So we just kind of push him out, go parallel, make a couple moves. I really like that. Let's go back and look at that again. So watch the horse's shoulders in these turns. Brought his left shoulder across. Brought his right shoulder across. Much better. Look at that bend. So that was a lot better with the shoulders. He had a lot better bend. But if you notice right before he turned, he kind of tossed his head up a little bit which tells me that he still didn't have enough weight on his back end. See the little hop in his head and his head comes up right as he turns. So we got to get him rocked back on his back end right there. I stopped. I rocked him back more. Get him rocked back a little bit more on his back end and we're going to quit that cow. So I let him walk around for a few minutes. Let him catch his breath. Then we're going to go back into the herd and pull another cow out decided to pull that red one out again see if it works any better this time it's a nice cow it's just kind of fast maybe working him again he'll work a little slower this time I want to concentrate on getting my horse sucked back a little bit more this time see if I can improve that head bobbing then right there I asked the horse to go back and he tossed his head I was bracing on the reins we're gonna to have to go out in the arena and work on some of this face stuff that was a kind of back through the turn there, walking with the cow, kind of working his face down just a little bit, trying to soften him up just a little bit. And back him up a little bit, get him shifted on his back end, he raised his head, so he's still bracy on his front end, not really wanting to back up, back a little bit there. I'm going to leave working the cows here in just a minute and I'm going to go out in the big arena and we're going to work more on backing up. We're going to work on getting his shoulders to move over and get out in the big arena away from the cows. So one thing I like to do is I'll, I'll work the cows and then I'll go out away from the cows and I'll work on the body control that I need to make the cow work better. That wasn't too bad right there. Shoulders swept across and he was on his back end a little better. Back up and turn. He will back up. He's just more bracy than I would like him to be. He's got to be softer. we got to get that back up softer. So we're going to go work on that a little bit. So I worked his back up a little bit. I didn't show that. I did the same thing I did a few minutes ago when you saw me working the back up. And I swapped some cows out. I've got more cows in here than what I really like, but it's what wanted to come out, so that's what we're going to work with. And I'm just trying to gather them up in the corner, all in one spot. They like to gather up by this hay feeder. Kind of works good. Helps keep them locked in this corner so I can pull something out. And here's a group wanting to kind of come out. I'm going to push him out and see what sticks his head out. This little yellow one here kind of separated himself, so we're going to see if we can work him. I need to get that yellow one pushed out a little bit more from the herd. This is usually a pretty good one to work, usually a nice speed. Nice horse was on his back end, pretty decent there. Still not as much as I would like but still was pretty good. There we go. I like that. That was nice. One thing that you probably should have noticed is when the cow's a little bit slower, the horse's position is better. And when the cow gets a little faster, the horse gets 
a little bit more out of position and really all it is is the horse really wants to work the cow really bad so he's trying to work harder but it's not necessarily correct so this is going to end up being a really nice horse i'm excited about this horse we just have to kind of not push him harder than what he's capable and we've got to keep him correct and let that speed come as it can come correct we don't want him to work fast and incorrect we want to correct work correct and a little slower right here he's, his body is really relaxed you can see how much more relaxed he is going slow I like that I like that that was nice back him off the cow and we're gonna quit that cow so I want to point out there's an Amazon affiliate link in the description below it helps to support the channel because we get a, a percentage of whatever you spend on Amazon and it doesn't cost you any more. And as I push these cows back out in the pasture, I'd just like to say if you have any questions or comments, uh, please post them in the comments box below. And if you would please subscribe to the channel and click the thumbs up button. It will help other viewers find my videos. and help everybody with their horsemanship and get their cow horses trained. Thank you for watching.